I have never seen the Ayatollah of Iran, Ayatollah Khamenei, the spiritual and political leader of Iran, so desperate, so distraught, so nervous. It looks like he's so much under pressure and understandably. Because of sanctions, the government of Iran is so much under pressure because of the lack of money they have to pull out of many countries that they had influence in, like Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, and Yemen. Now, internally also, they're in trouble. All the oil money that comes in, they use it on themselves. They're in the survival mode, and the people of Iran are not getting any benefit of it. So the people of Iran are turning against them. They're seeing the selfishness. So they're losing abroad, they're losing inside the country. And the people of Iran are saying, oh my gosh, the sanctions are putting pressure on us. But we had that pressure even before sanctions. We had miserable life. So many of them are saying, let the sanctions continue. We are ready to suffer even more if, if that brings down the Islamic government of Iran. My beloved, I know we are all facing the corona crisis in our personal lives, in our nation, around the world. But let's not forget, God is God, and he is in the business of saving nations. And the midst of all this miserable life and troubled time around the world, he is saving Iran. Iran will be the first Islamic nation that turns to Christ. Let us be alert. Let us join together and join God to bring transformation in Iran and through Iran to the whole Middle East. May God bless you as you pray, as you join us, as you partner with us to bring that transformation in the Middle East through Iran. God bless you.